Okay, I got us all probed in now for the second setup. And the second setup on both parts are pretty much primarily the same. So I'll be using a mag keeper there for a stop. And I'll just load the other part right in as soon as we get done doing this one. And go ahead and knock out that one and that'll take care of both setups for both pieces. Or it'll take care of that setup for both pieces. Then we can move on to the third setup which will be the uh, 3D adaptive on the uh, different level clearance slots for the rails and whatnot. This will be a number 30 stub drill which will be for uh, M5 threads. Since we're going to run the same thing, same program, I can just get my stuff out of the way. If the hit cycle start, and now the machine's going to sit here until I'm just waiting for a tool change. So I really don't have to make a tool change, but I do have to make a part change. Yeah, we should be good to go again. You have to be very careful using those magnets as vice stops. When you use them, you have to pay attention, make sure they don't move between your shifts, and everything's fine. They're pretty strong magnets, but they will move. So you have to make sure that you're you're solid when you get ready to make your your switch. So just bear that in mind. It's not as good as a vice stop. But it'll work, just bear in mind that when you make your switch, just make sure you're solid on your magnet there. I just push down on it, pull my piece out, and then I just push down on it when I put my piece in so I, can, I know it doesn't move, and then I just slide it over to it and let it stop and just tighten it down. And I have had no problems using them that way. Uh, there are some bigger ones, and sometimes they work better, they're a little stronger magnet, but uh, I think the guy makes some now with two magnets on them, so they may work even better as a stop, as long as the two magnets don't work against one another. So, And if you use them as a stop along with your parallels, you have to kind of be careful about the, the magnet pulling the parallel away. Make sure you use two to hold the parallel bar in that way the other one will not attract that parallel bar over to it so you gotta watch out for that that pretty much takes care of the second setup for those two parts and the first setup so now we can move on to the third setup this is where you want to use the other on the 
the other mag keeper on the opposite side the hose are parallel away from the magnet on this one Make sure everything's going to clear Okay, we got it all proved out now, so we'll go ahead and uh, I've got the program loaded. So we'll go ahead now and get that rolling. And this may be a little bit wet, so I'm going to change your angle a little bit. Maybe we'll be able to keep up with what's going on. Alright, this will be a 3D adaptive. It's a half inch end mill, two inch length of cut. And I'm going to be running it at 4,000 RPM with a 50,000 step over, 20 inches a minute. That's that little piece of foil there.
Okay, this is going to be the contour, the first contour for the uh, first little step there. This is a different height than the last one. This will make a uh, two passes here to clean this up. Pretty much cleaned the floor up there. Now it's going to go and it'll take about five thousandths off of that that wall there. Now this is the second contour on the second step. So this one's a little higher, so it's going to do uh, machining both ways. The tool should stay down. This again is just to clean up the adapter. Now there will be a trace on that lower pocket. First side, and we'll come back and pick up the second side. Okay, and that's our first piece. So now we got to do. We're going to have the same style tool run again. So. I'll just get it up out of the way, switch out the parts, get everything cleaned up here and make sure everything's solid. Okay, there's the, uh, there's the finish of our 3D adaptive with the contour and the trace as a cleanup pass on the uh, floor. See the side came out pretty good there. Alright, now we got to make this look like that. I'll give her just a wee bit more coolant. Maybe it'll get rid of some of those chips a little better. I'm not sure what it'll do for the view, but pretty sure it won't be good. Okay, so here we go with the second part.
really don't like that. A lot of tool pressure there on that tool. Probably could have split that depth of cut up there a little bit and got rid of some of that. That's like that piece of foil there. That's how much pressure's on that two inch long in there. Just so happens it lines up with this slot pretty good so it'll kick it off when it reaches that center line.
Okay, finally got them. That overall came out pretty good, I guess. Can't complain with that. That's on the, it'll actually be this way, like that. And then it'll actually close up, that area will be closed all up behind the apron will be here. So. Okay guys, well, now all we got to do is tap these holes and tap these holes and this part is, these, this part of the build will be finished and ready to, uh, ready to install. Can't complain with the way it came out. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like, thumbs up if you like the video. And until next time, take it easy.